Good evening, everyone. Uh, welcome to your first year here at PrEP. Uh, my name is Connor Hatton, and I am a senior here at PrEP. I want to tell you a little bit about my experience here at PrEP and why I chose to attend this high school. I had a pretty good idea on where I would be attending high school at a very young age. Many of my relatives attended uh, Jesuit high schools, and I had two, excuse me, <laughs> I had two cousins who attended PrEP. John Carlos Pena graduated in 2005 from PrEP and went to Duke. And my other cousin, Ray, graduated in 2008 and played rugby at Colgate. My brother, Andrew, graduated in 2013 and played lacrosse and recently graduated from the University of Michigan and was a captain of their men's lacrosse team. My family has made their mark at prep, and I knew I was ready to blaze my own trail. I realized that prep offers a lot of different opportunities for everyone to find his own path. I have friends who have been involved in music and theater, student government, and of course, athletics. I have participated in choir, student government, and I have played four years of football and lacrosse. I also managed a basketball team for three years, including the state championship season in 2015, following my greatest accomplishment. <laughs> uh, but I also became involved in something that has been especially rewarding, my service experience. I found my passion and path here at PrEP. One of the things stressed here at PrEP is becoming a man for others. In addition to our academic requirements and our extracurricular activities, students are required to perform service hours in our communities. We understand that we are all very fortunate to live in the area and to attend Fairfield Prep. We also understand that there are many people that are faced with significant challenges and do not enjoy some of the things we take for granted. Our service hours help the, prep, uh, help the students of Fairfield Prep contribute to making the lives of others a little better each day. Members of my family have been involved in various service organizations, so the fact that I had to require my prep was not viewed as a burdensome obligation. In addition to some of the things that I have done locally, such as tutoring, coaching youth basketball, and mentoring, I've also traveled with my family to Ecuador working on an organization called Art of Hope, which is involved in building schools in Ecuador. Additionally, one of my favorite things that I've been involved here at Fair for Prep over the last two summers was the Jamaica Immersion Trip. This past summer, I was one of the student leaders among a group of 10 students when we worked in mustard seed communities in the Kingston area. For those of you that may not know, the mustard seed communities is a, Ro is a Roman Catholic organization that houses hundreds of residents across Jamaica who are either physically or mentally disabled. We lived in these communities for a week and were able to understand how each of us could make a positive impact on the lives of these residents. We built walkways, we painted the chapel, we played games, and most importantly, we learned how to feed these disabled children. This experience has helped me step outside my comfort zone. I have been able to explore things that I would never have seen before. If there is one thing that I would advise for your son's time in here at prep, it would be to get involved in as much as you can. I have been able to be a part of a variety of clubs, organizations, committees, and teams, which have broadened my friendships with my classmates and helped me build relationships with teachers, faculty, that I've never met, or that I would never have met without these experiences. I feel that I've had a well-rounded well experience here at Fairfield Prep. I've gotten involved in a number of things that I would never have thought about when I was in eighth grade or my freshman year. I'm currently, in, uh, <laughs> currently involved in completing my college applications. So on a side note, I would like to ask if I have moved anyone during my speech tonight, and if anyone sits on the college admissions board, please consider writing an elected recommendation for me, Connor Adams, that I include in my application board. Thank you for your time, and I wish you and your sons good luck for the next couple of years here at Press. Thank you.